A sum of cash at simple interest amounts to rupees 42,480 in 9 years. If the rate of interest is increased by 25%, the same sum amounts to 44,110 in the same time. The rate of interest is, right? So we basically have to find out what is R. R is equal to what? Now, this is a case of simple interest, right? It says a sum of cash, meaning a principal amount, which, which let's assume is P, at simple interest amounts to, well, now what do you mean by amounts to? The total amount. Amounts to implies the total amount. So this 42,480 here is the total amount. It is not the simple interest. It is the total amount, meaning interest plus the principal. And the time period is 9 years. If the rate of interest is increased by 25%, right? We have assumed that the original rate of interest is R. Right? Let's say the rate of interest is R. It is increased by 25%. Then the same sum, P, amounts to 44,110 in the same time. Same time meaning the 9 years. So what is the rate of interest R? Right? So our assumption is, let's assume the rate of interest here is equal to R. R percentage per annum. Now, going by the concept of percentages, you know that in a period of 9 years, what will be the total amount? Amount in 9 years, right? Amount in 9 years will be equal to the principal plus 9 into R percentage of principal, which is equal to 42,480. Yes or no? 9 into R percentage. We have discussed that in case of simple interest. If the rate of interest is R, how much interest do you get? Simple interest do you get in the period of 1 year? R percentage. In 2 years, you'll get 2R percentage. In 3 years, you get 3R percentage, right? So in 9 years, you would get 9R percentage. So that's the uh, total amount. Now, what happened? The rate of interest has increased. The new rate is going to be what? Let's say our new rate is R dash, right? How much is that? R dash is what? 1.25R. Why is it 1.25R? It has increased by 25 percentage. So when something increases by 25 percentage, we can take it as 1.25 times the original value. So this is 1.25 times the original value R. So what is the amount now? The new amount A dash, let's say, in nine years. See, the period was same. It is in the same period and on the same sum. So it will be equal to P plus, right? P plus, again, nine times of 1.25R percentage of P, which is equal to whatever, 44,110. So basically two equations. Right. This is equation number one. This is equation number two. And there are two unknown values here. You have to solve for those. Right. Eventually what we need is the rate of interest R. Now simplify this. When I, when I subtract these two, what do we get? So if I take, let's say, A9 dash, you don't have to write all these steps so neatly in the exam. Just giving a detailed solution to you. So how much do we get? See, P and P gets cancelled. P minus P zero. If you take 9 common, 1.25R minus 1R is 0.25R. 0.25 into 9 will be 2.25. So eventually what we get is 2.25R percentage of P is equal to whatever, 44,110 minus 42,480. You're getting it? 44,110 minus 42,480. How much is that? Do the calculation. Are you getting it? It will be equal to 1630. See, how do you do this? Simple. 44,000 minus 42,000 is 2,000. 110 minus 480 is minus 370. So 2,000 minus 370 will be 1630, right? So this is equal to 1630. Remember, 2.25 R percentage of P is equal to 1630. Now, what do you do next? All you have to do next is, uh, you know, uh, put this R percentage of P in this value. In, in this equation. I mean, again, substitute this back in one of the equations, either the first equation or second equation. And uh, solve it, right? So, so what happens? I can say, uh, see from this, let me find out what is R percentage of P. R percentage of P will be 1630 by 2.25. Uh, yeah. So if I take Let's say 25 as the common factor here. This is 9 times. This is uh, 40 times, 60 times. Sixty times. 
65, 65.2. You're getting it. Calculation, like I always say, is the key. So you have to do the calculation properly. 1630 by 2.25. I guess it will come out to be how much would that be? 7, 720. Is it just check? 720, 14, 40. And yeah. Or oh, oh, let's just put this back as it is. The calculation is getting complex. Calculation here is getting complex, but. Uh, Oh yeah, why do I have to solve this? I can maybe directly put this back here. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we are wasting our time. See, we want, we want, okay, this, this step is not required. Let's, let's make it better. This step is not required. Let me multiply the whole thing by four. Let me multiply the whole thing by four. What happens? See, 2.25 into four is nine. So nine R percentage of P will come out to be 1630 into four. What is 1630 into four? 1600 into four is 6,400. 30 into four is uh 120 so 6520 right now substitute this 9r percentage of p equals to 6520 in this equation here yeah so we will be able to find out p so what do we get in the next step you can say p plus see 9r percentage of p has come out to be 6520 6520 equals to 42480 mm -mm. So what is P? Yeah, I think this is what you need to do. Just find out P and substitute that P back here to get the value of R. I mean, it looks to be lengthy, I know, but there is a lot of unnecessary work which can be avoided. Like writing out all these steps, A9, A9 dash and all, if you cut down, you will definitely save a few seconds. So P comes out to be what? 42,000 minus 6,000 is 36,000, 480 minus 520 is minus 40. So this comes out to be 35,960. Looks like an odd figure. Yeah. Mm Just look at the numbers once 42,480, Yeah, calculation looks to be okay. Now you have to put this P back in this place so that you can get R, yes or no? So we have substituted this equation in the first equation. Now we are going to put value of P back into any one of these equations. I can, you can either put P in A9 or A9 dash or simply put it here. We only got a simpler equation in terms of P. So put P back here. So what do we get in the next step? We will get uh, 9 R percentage is equal to 6000 520 divided by uh, 35,000 that P comes into the number 35,960 yeah if you avoid this percentage this becomes into 100 so basically 
सिक्स लैक्स फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन सिक्सटी doesn't look like an integer value it don't seem to be getting an integer value yes sir no the rate of interest increased by 25 percentage that made it one point two five nine seven is one two five one two five into nine yeah So I think your final value of R is going to be this. I will leave the calculation to you because thirty-five thousand nine sixty into nine. How much will that be? Thirty-five thousand nine sixty into nine. That is close to. No, three lakh fifteen thousand or something. And this divided by should be somewhere around two, approximately two. It cannot be five or four. It cannot be three also. Yeah, I think we'll get somewhere around two percentage. Uh -huh. 